Yo, what's up guys, Sage Cole Wallen here, back to this new episode. In today's video, we're going to be playing with this really fast 2.5 average X cost low paid cycle deck. As you guys can see, no small spell, no big spell, but this deck is actually working pretty well. I've seen quite a lot of people being really high with this deck on the top leaderboard. And as most of you guys might already know, I'm a big fan of playing with low paid. In my opinion, it's super fun to use it. And in general, I think I play pretty well with it. So let's see how we do in today's video. See you guys soon with game number one. Okay, let's go guys, hoping into game number one, it looks like we're up against a guy called Dragon Love Expo. So hopefully it's not gonna be Expo, because I feel like Expo might be a pretty rough matchup for us. But I guess we'll find out later, let's in the meantime split a wall break. It looks like he does indeed have an Ice Spirit, he does have Lock, he does have the Knight. So it could indeed be some kind of Psycho deck, in this case, yeah, Expo. Looks like he does say, wow, I'm actually gonna go Goblin Barrel knowing that his Lock is out of Psycho. And I think the most important thing in these type of matchups is always trying to, um, yeah, pressure a lot. Make sure that he will not be able to, how do you say, like, attack that much. Force him to, to go defensively quite a lot during the, the entire match. So let's see what he's gonna do. Looks like he goes with Ice Spirit. I'm just gonna split Wallbreakers again. I feel like Wallbreaker split is a pretty annoying play for him. He does go with a Tesla, which of course is a um, yeah, annoying thing for us. But I guess it's fine. Just forcing out the Elixir defensively is always good. And in the meantime, just try and be, um, how do you say, like, annoying. Like, Lockbait, I feel like it's all about just being annoying. Take um, advantage of the spells. Take advantage of the cycle. For example, now I do know that he has Lock. But I'm still going to go with Barrel trying to um, yeah, get some damage. Looks like he decides to not Lock. Okay, that's interesting. And I guess I'm just going to cycle E-Spirit. Don't really want to give him much value with the, um, with the Fireball. So that's why I'm not really cycling. For example, okay, looks like he does go with his log. Let's go with the Dark Goblin and let's go with Skeletons. Even though it is the evil Skeletons, Skeletons are mainly there just to block the... Um, or distract the Expo a little bit. While the Dark Goblin, in this case, how do you say, DPS is down the Expo. Okay, so, so far, I would say pretty good situation. We already managed to chip down his Rise Tower so much. He decided to keep the log to, yeah, combine it with the Expo, which in this case was not a bad play. But in the end, oh, okay, nice um, Tesla. Man, I was waiting for it quite a while. And then he still decided to predict it. That was a nice prediction by his, by him, I guess. Let's in the meantime go with wall breakers. And I'm kind of afraid because I feel like at some point I was about to say he is gonna um, yeah, be able to break through. So let's go with the Valkyrie. I think he's gonna lock the Dark Goblin. So let's go with the Goblin Gang here. And I'm just gonna try and distract, in this case, the um, Expo as much as possible. Let's go with Skeletons. Let's go with wall breakers. Let's go with the E-Spirit here. In the middle, he does end up going with the lock. And the Expo Forge is able to get a lock on the tower. Okay, man, he doesn't have lock in cycle. I think we should try and... Oh, he uses the Valkyrie. Wait, that's good for us, guys. We can go with uh, Valkyrie plus the Goblin Barrel. He does go with a Knight as well. The Goblin Barrel might be able to get a little bit of chip damage. And then I'm going to go Princess here. Okay, so damage-wise, it's not looking that bad for us. But I feel like it's um, yeah, definitely not a good situation for us either because he does have a really solid defense. And it's kind of hard for us to consistently defend, in this case, the, um, the Expo pushes. Okay, let's go with Valkyrie. Let's go with Warbreakers. He does go with his Archers. He does go with his Tesla. Let's go with the Princess here. And I'm going to go with a Goblin Barrel. Okay, I think it's going to be very important to try and keep the pressure. So I was about to say, as soon as he uses the lock there defensively, I'm going to go with a Goblin Gang. I'm going to go with Valkyrie. I'm going to go Warbreakers towards the left side lane. And I think I'm just going to keep the pressure, trying to outcycle and trying to pressure as much as I can. Forcing out a lot of Elixir defensively. Nice, okay. So we did force out quite a lot of Elixir defensively. Tesla goes down. Thanks to the Dark Goblin. Goblin Barrel is able to get a little bit of chip damage. And I guess I'm just going to go with Princess here to clean up the skeletons on the right side lane. Okay, so what can we do, guys? That's the real question here. Should we just continue pressuring? I think we should, right? I guess we don't really want him to um, yeah, go offensively. Because if he does go offensively with Xbox, if he is able to get those really good expo pushes going then it's kind of hard for us to to defend it so let's see i think he's gonna go with expo sometime soon let's go with a dark goblin maybe oh there was a nice try i wanted to try and go with a prediction looks like he does go with expo but this time he goes with it defensively okay let's keep it a pressure let's go with wall breakers let's go with the goblin gang here towards the right side and man the expo defensively is so annoying for us because we do not have a, um, a spell no small spell no big spell so it's definitely yeah kind of a Good play, but at the same time, a very annoying play for us. So let's see what he's going to do next. Looks like he does go with the Archers. Let's see if we can. Nice. This time we do catch the Expo. Let's go with Dark Goblin. Let's go with Valkyrie. Let's go with the Goblin Gang. Warbreakers. At this point, I just want to make sure that we um, get kill the Expo without taking any damage. Let's go with Evil Skeletons. Let's go with the Princess here as well. And it looks like we are able to um, have the damage lead right now, but this is still not looking amazing for us either. Okay, let's see. Let's go with Skeletons. Let's go with the Goblin Gang. Dark Goblin, let's go with E-Spirit, and let's go with Wall Breakers. Nice, okay, we are distracting the Expo quite a lot. Unfortunately, the Wall Breaker was not able to connect to the Expo, so we do have to be careful. Dark Goblin is getting a lot of value, though. Let's go with Valkyrie, let's go with a Goblin Barrel here. 
The bad thing is that we do not have a spell to, to get damage on this tower. So I think here he might be able to, to try and DPS us down. Let's go with Goblin Gang. Let's go with Princess. Let's go with Skeletons. And I'm actually going to go with a normal barrel towards the left side. Trying to force the lock on the right side. Because that is where uh, we have the damage. And then get a lot of damage on the left side tower. Nice. Okay. We are able to get a good amount of damage. Let's go with Princess. Let's go with Skeletons. What is even happening right now? Please tell me that we somehow get the W here. Let's go with the Goblin Barrel. I think it's enough. Nice. Okay. We do get the victory. What an insane match there against Expo Psycho, which I would consider a really rough, a really difficult matchup for us. And we are able to secure the victory by only 168 HP difference. What a nice game to start today's video. Let's go guys, how we get to game number two. Very nice game, very close match there to start today's video. What an insane yeah, end. I think if the princess didn't hit the tower in the last second, we would have actually lost by damage. But in the end, we ended up winning. I think it was like by, yeah, 160 something HP. So let's focus on the second match here. Let's see what we're facing. Looks like it is going to be some kind of... Oh, I would say maybe Pekka deck actually after seeing the Bomber and um, the Ice Wizard. I guess it could be something else as well. But I'm pretty sure Pekka has been used with this um, yeah, Ice Wizard with the... Oh, okay. Sky the King as well. I guess we will find out later. Not really sure. Oh, it's going to be Graveyard. Okay, let's go with Valkyrie here. Let's go with Skeletus to Restrict. Dark Goblin behind the King Tower. And I'm going to go with East Spirit. Making sure um, that the yeah, skeletons do not get that much damage, but they still get a decent amount of damage because, of course, we do have the Cannoneer. It's actually interesting because Cannoneer, I would say, is not good at all against Graveyard, but I think our deck still should be decent against Graveyard, considering that we have the Dark Goblin, Electro Spirit, we have Valkyrie, we have Goblin Gang, we have a lot of different ways to be able to distract and counter the Graveyard, so I would say that we have a decent matchup here, but be careful because you never know, maybe at some point, yeah, if he catches us with a low Elixir, Maybe with a bad cycle, Graveyard is still very scary. Okay, looks like it isn't it gonna be Pekka. I was not expecting Pekka Graveyard, but looks like it is gonna be, um, yeah, Pekka Graveyard. So I'm actually gonna go Valkyrie up high, and then I'm gonna go Skeletons last second to distract the Pekka. And I'm actually gonna go with Goblin Barrel, normal Goblin Barrel towards the right side, knowing that he has arrows. Then I'm gonna go Goblin Gang here as well. But how is he, like, how is he supposed to defend these guys? Like, honestly, how are you supposed to, to defend the push like that, especially... Him having Cannon here and he already gives up. Like I was saying, like I was already thinking, I was saying it to you guys. How is he supposed to defend something like that? He just can't. He knows that he can't and he's actually gonna give up. So I guess, yeah, very nice and easy win. See you guys soon with game number three. Okay, let's go guys. How we get to game number three? What a yeah, easy match compared to game number one we just had against that Pekka Graveyard player. I think he was way too aggressive, but then also the Goblin Barrel evolution, especially against the Cannon here in some situations, it just undefendable like honestly how was he even supposed to defend it i guess he just couldn't and also after seeing that he couldn't he was just like okay i'm out of here so let's see what we're gonna facing be facing here in game number three looks like he has skeleton dragons skeleton dragons could be a lot of stuff but i would say yeah probably gonna be a lava hound deck here after seeing guards skeleton dragons void spell as well definitely typical um yeah lava hound lava loon cards uh, in the current meta so let's here go i think with a goblin barrel he might have a valkyrie which i guess if he does okay yeah i was about to say if he does he's probably gonna use it on top of the goblin gang and let's then here go with a dark goblin so i think lava hound i'm not sure how good of a or how bad of a matchup is normally lock bait was always really good against lava hound but now considering that this lock bait deck doesn't have any um how do you say any good spell okay looks like he does go with his skeleton dragon. not sure if those skeletons are gonna not looks like unfortunately the skeletons are not gonna survive let's then afterwards here Go with a princess to try and deal with the skeleton dragon. So what I wanted to say is that normally Lockbait was always very good against the um, Lava Loon in general. But of course, back then Lockbait always had like a building like Tesla, Inferno Tower, Rocket. We're using a really quick cycle. So I'm interested to see if we can also beat Lava Loon with this really quick um, yeah, Lockbait deck, this Lockbait version. Okay, so we do have the Evil Barrel. I think the Evil Barrel should go to the right side lane, even though he doesn't have arrows or something. He's probably going to overspend on the left side lane, and then I'm actually going to go Wall Breakers here as well to try and tank and get even more damage. So as you guys can see, he uses the Valkyrie on the Fake Barrel, I guess we can say. And then in the meantime, we get so much damage on the right side lane. Man, that's insane. How much damage we just dealt to the left side tower, or his right side tower, excuse me. Um, it's insane. Our left side tower is, of course, also damaged a little bit, but I would say that the overall situation is, is very good for very good for us right now okay let's go with a valkyrie here i'm gonna go goblin game because i think he's gonna go with gu uh, guards or something looks like he does go with a zap let's go with a goblin belt towards the right side and i think at this point all we need to do is make sure that he doesn't get like an insane push but i definitely think that we're gonna um, yeah, probably lose the tower here i'm not gonna lie i think he should take the tower with this lava loom push unless something crazy happens but i don't really see how we how we can defend this so let's see what's gonna happen next i think we need to keep under pressure guys I'm gonna go with Valkyrie, I'm gonna go with Goblin Gang, and I'm gonna try and cycle 
to a new um, Dark Goblin. Okay, looks like he does go with Warbreak. Let's go with Warbreak is here. I'm not sure if the wall. No, unfortunately, the Warbreakers are not able to pull, are not able to distract. And man, this is kind of scary. This is kind of scary because look at the King Tower. Okay, we need to go Goblin Gang here. Let's go with the East Prayer. Please tell me that the Balloon doesn't get a sh... Okay, nice. The Balloon didn't shoot. Wait, what? How did that not connect? I swear it was already making the, um, the animation of getting the last shot. And I think, I mean, I'm 100% sure that with the last shot of the Balloon, he would have been able to secure the victory. But somehow we stayed alive. We survived. That was scary. I guess, yeah, still a really nice win. See you guys soon with the next match. Okay, let's go guys, hope we get to the next match, man, so far this video has been crazy, first game, such a close match, second game was like one of the easiest matches of my life, and then this last match was also, yeah, to the limit, to the last second, the balloon, it was already like dropping, it was already like hitting, and then somehow we still managed to, to defend, so that was crazy, let's go with the Dark Goblin here, let's go with the E-Spirit, hopefully we can activate the King Tower, that would be kind of nice, unfortunately the Ram Rider was able to, oh okay, I guess it's fine, Still a decent defense. Ram Rider, unfortunately, was able to get one shot or one charge actually on the left side tower. That's a lot of damage. But I guess it's fine. Let's in the meantime here go with um, Goblin Gang. Let's go with Skeletons. And I'm going to go with the Wall Breakers here as well. Knowing that he's Cannon here, it's always important to um, yeah, try and distract. In this case, for example, the Cannon here with Skeletons. Maybe with an Electro Spirit. Something like that. To then afterwards, hopefully, get the Wall Breakers to the tower. Okay, so um, interesting deck by him. I'm not sure if he's running... I guess it might be Mega Knight. Maybe Pekka. After seeing the cards he showed us, I doubt that it's only going to be Ram Rider. I'm pretty sure he should have something like, yeah, as I said, a P.E.K.K.A., a Mega Knight, or something like that in there. I guess we'll find out later whenever he um, just shows us what is he missing. But so far, pretty good amount of damage. He might go in for the Ram Rider, which is kind of scary because we do not have the Electro Spirit. We do not really have a, a great way of distracting in this case. Oh, okay. Let's go with Skeletons here. Hopefully the Skeletons are able to stay alive. Looks like we are able to kind of stay alive here let's go with a goblin barrel let's go with a valkyrie to tank for the dark goblin i think this is gonna be a hard push for him to defend especially once again considering that he um yeah, has the cannon here and of course cannon here in this situation is really not great against these spammy decks we already saw it in game number two and right now once again the evil barrel just going crazy man evil barrel especially against cannon here i guess against princess tower it's not as good against um as against the cannon here also against princess tower in some situations he gets a lot of damage but yeah cannon here it's just really not good against those those spammy um, cards like the Goblin Barrel, Goblin Gang, etc, etc. So let's go with, um, uh, what's it called? Okay, looks like he does go with his Firecracker. I think I'm going to go Skeletus off to the side. Take the Ram Rider shot. It is going to get a lot of damage. And then this way we activate the King Tower. I mean, I guess it was kind of worth it. We did end up taking a lot of damage, but overall situation is still very good for us. His right side tower is also slowly but surely getting so much damage. And look at that, guys. We are going to take his right side tower as well with the Goblin Barrel plus Wallbreaker push. Let's in the meantime cycle Dark Goblin. Let's go with Valkyrie. He's probably going to once again... There you go with his Valkyrie. Let's go with Easter. Let's go with Goblin Gang last second as well. And at this point, I'm just going to continue pressuring and um, try to get the three count because we're, yeah, at this point, just dominating the match. I don't think he, he even has a chance of still beating us. He did indeed have the Mega Knight. I was telling you guys, it looks like, or at least it was giving me the vibes of um, some kind of, yeah, Mega Knight deck, some kind of P.E.K.K.A. deck. Looks like in the end, he did have indeed the Mega Knight. At this point, we can just let him take the left side tower. He still needs to take the right side tower, which in this case, he of course cannot because there's no time left. So very nice victory there against this Mega Knight Ram Rider deck. See you guys soon with the next match. So far, very fun and very nice video. Hopefully you guys are also enjoying it so far. Definitely really fun, in my opinion, at least always playing with these type of Lockbait decks, I always love playing, yeah, with these type of decks. And let's in the meantime go with a Valkyrie. It looks like talking about Lockbait, we're going to be facing another Lockbait deck. But this is more looking like the, yeah, typical classic Lockbait deck instead of our version, which we are running, yeah, like the quick cycle without a spell. So it's going to be interesting to see how we do against the typical Lockbait deck. I'm assuming he's going to have Rocket. I'm assuming he's going to have the Lock, Knight, exactly the, yeah, the classic Lockbait deck. So let's go with the Dark Goblin here. Looks like he does have skeletons, classic lockbait, I guess doesn't run skeletons, but he just, yeah, probably doesn't have the, the ice spirit. And let's in the meantime here go with skeletons, let's go with the goblin gang as well, skeletons to try and bait out something. Looks like we are able to, and let's then go with a goblin bell here towards the left side, which he's probably gonna have to go with a goblin gang, nice. Okay, that means that after we can probably get a really good valkyrie on top of the, um, the goblin gang, and then maybe even continue pressuring by going wall breakers he doesn't have lock and cycle he doesn't have prince and cycle i would like to go with skeletons here trying to see if we can out cycle him and potentially get some value from the evil skeletons we might be able to force out the um, lock last second i'm not sure if he's back he looks like he doesn't okay looks like now he is back to the lock let's in the meantime 
Should we go Goblin Gang? I guess I'm gonna go Goblin Gang and go Goblin Barrel, just taking advantage of the fact that he just spent the lock, knowing that he doesn't have a troop like a, a Valkyrie or something. This push should be kind of annoying for him, and as you can see, it is indeed really annoying for him. We just ended up getting so much damage there. Nice, okay, perfect. He does give us the World Blade. Let's give him the thanks, and let's see what he's gonna do next. But I think we just go Valkyrie and leave it like that. I don't think we should have gone... Um, yeah, with Warbreakers or something, because he does have the cannon, and I feel like we spent quite a lot of Elixir just now. Okay, let's go with a Dark Goblin here, let's go with Electro Spirit here as well. I'm gonna go Goblin Gang, and I'm gonna go with Skeletons off to the side. He does go with his own Skeletons, please tell me that... Oh my god, this is scary. This is really scary, because we do not have a small um, spell, or not even yeah, a big spell. We have no spell at all, so that was a very well played by him. But we do end up kiting with the wall breakers. And man, that kite was so clutch. I'm not gonna lie, guys. If not, that was gonna take the tower. Like, honestly, those evil skeletons, if there's no response against them, they just take the tower. Like, they are they are insanely strong in some situations. Okay, let's go with the princess here. He might go with his own princess. So let's go with skeletons. Oh, looks like he has a, a poison. Okay. That's actually interesting. Normally, Lopet always runs rocket. I guess this guy uses it with poison i mean maybe better for us actually if you think about it in one way he cannot rocket cycle us out so that's definitely yeah kind of a, a nice thing to know i guess let's go with dark goblin here first let's then go with a princess here as well he's definitely gonna try and go with his barrel looks like he goes with the barrel off to the side we need to be careful with the poison but i don't think he's gonna poison and if he does we do have the electro spirit here to distract um yeah his troops a little bit longer let's go with the goblin gang and I think we just need to try and keep other pressure. So let's go with the Dark Goblin. He just uses his lock. Let's go with the Goblin Gang. Let's go with Wallbreakers. And let's try and outcycle in here by going Skeletons, by going Wallbreakers, by going Goblin Barrel. And hopefully that is able to get a little bit of damage. Okay, we are able to get a little bit of damage on the, um, on the left side tower. Right side tower also gets a little bit of chip damage. But so far, still a pretty difficult situation. And let's once again go with a Goblin Gang, trying to defend the, the Barrel as good as possible. Let's go with Skeletons. Let's go with Wallbreakers. And I think we just need to try and yeah, outcycle him, try to keep under pressure by taking advantage of the um, of the quick cycle we have. Okay, be careful with the princess at the bridge. Let's go with the e-spirit here. Let's go with the goblin barrel as well. He's definitely yeah lock and cycle, so he's probably just gonna lock it. There you go. And then man, what should we do? Okay, let's go like this. Let's go like that. Let's go with the goblin gang here to defend it. He does go with his um, princess. I guess I'm gonna go with my own princess. Let's go with evil skeletons here as well. And then I'm gonna have the goblin bell ready. Okay, let's go with Golden Barrel. He did choose his lock, so that's great for us. Look at the Spear Goblins in the meantime. Connecting a little bit to the left side tower, and slowly but surely, we are getting a good amount of chip damage. But the bad thing for us is that we do not have any spells. So we actually need to take the tower by yeah, taking it with, for example, the Goblin Barrel. By, for example, connecting with, yeah, really anything. But we need to connect to the tower, guys. So let's go with the Goblin Barrel. Looks like he does have the Goblin Gang. Let's go with the Valkyrie here as well. He's probably going to go Poison, but I guess the Poison... Doesn't directly kill the goblin, so it's still um, a yeah, good thing for us. Let's go with the goblin barrel, let's go with skeletons, let's go with wall breakers. And at this point, I'm just trying to pressure cycle as much as possible. Okay, nice. Let's go with the goblin barrel here. Let's then go with the princess here as well. And as I said, I'm just trying to, to pressure as much as possible. Princess of Fortune is not able to get a shot on the tower, but the right side princess is able to get a shot on the tower and is able to take it down. So, what a crazy match there! Looks like our lock bait um, yeah, deck is the better lock bait deck. See you guys soon with the last match of today's video. Okay, let's go guys. Hope we get to the last match of today's video. What a fun match we just played. It's kind of crazy though playing against Lockbait without any spell. And man, okay, talking about Lockbait, looks like we're up against another Lockbait player. So let's see if we can get back-to-back -back wins to finish today's video against Lockbait. Looks like he does go with his Goblin Gang. Let's go with Skeletons. Let's go with Dark Goblin. And I guess it's not going to be the typical Lockbait version because he does have the, um, the minions as well. It's going to be interesting to see what deck he's running. He has minions... Goblin Gang, Barrel, and he has a Zap as well. Okay, it's definitely not gonna be Lockbait, because, yeah, Lockbait, as we just saw, we played against Lockbait, usually has Princess, Knight, Lock. Normally it has Rocket, but last player actually had the Poison, but this is definitely some kind of, yeah, off-meta um, Lockbait deck, I guess. Okay, let's in the meantime go with a Princess. I think I'm gonna go with uh, Electro Spear. Please tell me that he does not have Arrows. Okay, luckily for us, he does not have Arrows. Let's go with a Valkyrie. Unfortunately, the Valkyrie is not able to tank for the princess, but it's able to tank for our... Um, okay, ooh, this is gonna be scary. Wait, we need to try and get a, a good defense going here. I think we can try and activate the king tower. Let's go with Dark Goblin here. I'm not sure if the Mega Knight is gonna have enough HP. But let's go with Skeletons here last second, and please tell me that it activates. I think it should, right? Nice. Okay, even though the Mega Knight had 1 HP, we still managed to activate the king tower, so that's definitely gonna help us at least a little bit. And then... Um, man, this is such a strange lock play deck from him. But I guess he showed pretty much all his deck already. I guess it's just going to be like a Mega Knight bait deck with minions, with the Goblin Gang, with Princess. And then I didn't really see if the Mega Knight was evolved, by the way. 
But I'm assuming it might be the um, yeah, Evolution Mega Knight. Okay, let's go with the Valkyrie here up high. I guess I'm gonna wait a little bit and then see. I don't think... Okay, looks like he has Sparky. I guess we can go with Wallbreakers because the Sparky is gonna shoot the Valkyrie. He's gonna take care of it. But afterwards, the Wallbreakers still had to be responded to. In this case, by the, um, by the Skeleton Army. So, man, what is this guy... What is this guy playing? Who let this guy cook? Okay, I guess it's fine though. Dark Bomb is getting a lot of value. Let's in the meantime go with Electro Spirit. Let's go with Princess. And then... I don't think I should go with the Valkyrie knowing that he has Mega Knight. I guess we should just let this be for now. Oh, he uses the Mega Knight though. Okay, that's kind of good for us. We can go with Valkyrie. We can go with Goblin Barrel. Let's go with Wallbreakers here as well. Knowing that he doesn't have Mega Knight in the cycle. This might be able to get a little bit of damage. And let's then in the meantime go with a Dark Goblin here as well. Okay, he does have the Evil Mega Knight coming at us. So we need to be careful. Let's go with the Electro Spirit. Let's go with Skeletons. Let's go with the Valkyrie. And I think we should be fine like this. Unless he zaps the Evil Skeletons. But even if he does, we still should be able to yeah, defend it pretty well unfortunately the mega knight is able to get one jump on the tower but i guess um that's probably the best defense we could have done in that situation so let's go with princess man he has so many spammy cards and we do not have any spell at all it's so annoying playing against a, a deck like this and yeah not having a log not having a, a zap not having anything to be able to defend so let's go with wall breakers let's see what he's gonna do looks like he does go with his mega knight i'm gonna go with a goblin barrel here let's go with a princess and i honestly don't know if we can even defend these guys. Let's go with Skeletons here. Let's go with a Valkyrie up high. I am going to go with the E-Spirit here as well. And then, okay, we still need to be careful with this. Let's go with Wallbreakers here. Let's then, I think, go with Skeletons to defend the Sparky. I'm somehow still alive. I don't even know how we're still alive. Um, but this is definitely not looking good for us. Let's go with a Goblin Barrel here towards the left side lane. Valkyrie is alive. He's probably going to go Mega Knight right side. Or what is he going to do? Okay, looks like he goes with his Skeleton Army. Let's go with a Goblin Gang of our own towards the left side lane. We are able to get a good amount of damage on the left side lane with the pressure we're applying right now. Prince is also getting a shot. And somehow we're in the damage lead. Don't ask me how, but we are in the damage lead right now. Okay, let's go with the Electro Spirit. Let's go with a Dark Goblin here as well. I'm going to go with a Goblin Barrel towards the left side lane. But man, this is so scary. Like, his deck is actually crazy. Especially considering that we do not have any yeah, spell, as I said. Okay, let's go with Valkyrie. Let's go with Goblin Gang. At this point, I'm just going to try and pressure as much as possible. Trying to take down the tower. Um, yeah, before he takes our tower. Let's go with the Goblin Barrel. Goblin Barrel is able to get a lock onto the tower. Please tell me it takes. And it looks like it does take the tower. What a crazy match. I honestly don't even know what was that deck. Man, that was such a crazy deck by him. We are able to secure another victory. Looks like we do end up um, yeah, winning the last two matches. I wanted to say against Lockbait, but do you even consider that deck a Lockbait deck? I honestly don't even know. There was more like a yeah, Mega Knight spam deck, Sparky spam deck, rather than a Lockbait deck, I guess. But we do end up securing the victory. So very nice video. I had a lot of fun playing with this Quick Cycle Lockbait deck. Hopefully you guys also enjoyed it. If you did, please make sure to smack the like button. If you're not subscribed to the channel yet, feel free to subscribe. And I'll see you guys in one of my next videos. Take care, guys.